Okay, so I'm on board now. It's the next day. And I'm showing you the top of the boat. There's a large uh, bow rail that goes around. You can see how wide the deck is compared to my foot. Um, there's a cathedral uh, hatch right here. Uh, a regular hatch and then another hatch. So there's three hatches to get plenty of air down there. And there's a bowsprit uh, that sticks out pretty far. And I'm hoping that doesn't hang me up when I try to get off the trailer. Okay, this thing is pretty rough, but I'm going to bring it back. That's what it looks like down that side. The two windows on the side don't open, but that window right there uh, will open. I just haven't uh, unsnapped a little cover on it. Now, this is not supposed to be here. A man that owned the boat before me um, stepped a mast there and made this thing a little motor sailor. Uh, I think I've mentioned that before, but I'm not going to run it like that. All the wood needs to be done. Um, but, I mean, it's just something that you do. These little uh, holders on the side are not supposed to be here. I think it had something to do with a sailing rig. I'm going to leave them and put a boat hook in there or uh, fishing rods. Uh, this is the deck. The deck's pretty big. This is one of the things when I was looking at these boats. Um, I don't know. I'm trying to give you an idea. Like an adult sitting here, you could... You could seat four adults around here if you wanted to pretty easily. And the gunnels are pretty tall, so you, the kids are going to fall out. Uh, there's a cover. I think a lot of them have a cover here. I'm going to build something to be a little table that covers the motor and maybe um, comes out into the cockpit. The door that goes into the cabin is a split door. All right. And it's a split door, and then you pull this hatch on the top, and it sits and covers the top of the door. All right? Um, I've been uh, bilging it with a water hose. Uh, the boat had water in it when I got it. It had been flooding here in North Carolina. Uh, here, here goes the hand pump. It's brass. That's pretty cool. Got big windows all the way around. Obviously, that was just covered up with canvas, so that's nice. And then you have a, you got a head here, and then you can drop this down, and then the head disappears, and you got a little table there. Uh, I don't know. You can also. When the table's down, you have a window back there, so not sure how I'm going to deal with that. The bed area is very, very large. Um, and when you're down here, there's a table you can set up. When you're down here, I'll show you. I am, the well, the ceiling is flaking. Got a lot of sanding to do up here. Um, I am six feet tall. And I'm sitting straight up, so... Just barely, if you're six feet, you're going to be comfortable. Uh, barely. But I guess when you're eating, you're bending over a little bit. But it is a very big bed. It's, I lived aboard a sailboat, and this is bigger than the V-berth on my sailboat. So it looks like all the cushions are here. So probably the kids and I, all three of us will sleep there. Um... There's, you can open up a hatch, just a little battery tender. There's dual battery bank under here. Single battery there. And then there that shows you the rest of the build. It's very much like my old Catalina sailboat, as in this is the cabin, and then the hull is out there, so it's double hulled, which will be, it's, that's nice for insulation. Uh, my neighbor... His sailboat was a single hull, and he was always freezing, and mine was a double hull, and it was much easier to heat. Um, the ceiling is flaking. The ceiling is, is 
that's not wood. It's like a plasticky sort of um, Wayne's coating. So I feel like I'm going to have an easy time painting that. Maybe overly optimistic here. When you're looking back, you can see how the boat is a hull. Obviously, they set the top down on the hull. So uh, the build right here is like a keel build. Uh, there's a keel, so it's like a keel build that runs along the floor. And uh, it looks like it connects back here. I can tell you where the water was getting into this boat is, I believe it was getting into that hatch. So uh, that's what the inside of this boat is like. I don't know if the electronics work yet. I've had to work all day. It does have a nice battery switch. The steering needs to be bled. I honestly don't like this wheel because these spokes are just kind of in my way, but everybody else will probably think that's cool. Uh, the windows have leaked, but not bad. I've seen Nomads and the Vagabonds with just absolutely rotted windows around here, so... I'll probably just clean these and caulk them again because if it ain't too broke, don't fix it. All right, there's the second Vagabond video, and uh, I'll try to keep putting them out as the boat comes together. It is the end of May 2020.